We're in our first ever hurricane. It's just starting to rain. Oh! <laughs> uh, category, between category one and two. Mm -hmm. Which is apparently no big deal. But uh, it's getting crazy. Roads yep. are flooding, people are leaving, so. Yep. Yep. About our gluten-free options, we have a brownie, Ooh. not just cake, but brownies, and then we got rice noodles. Um, we got some bread, but could also be pizza. Oh yeah, that's so important. And pancakes. Pancakes! Yay! Yay for Fiji gluten-free options. Fiji. Um, we have been here for about a week and a half now uh, and today was our first day of school as student teachers at International School Suva. So the reason why I decided to create these videos is one for to keep my family and friends um, in the loop of what's going on here while I'm away but also for any George Fox students who plan on doing this program in the future so they know what it's going to be like and what to anticipate. Um, when I was doing some research about this program before I left, I couldn't really find anything to uh, listen to to really figure out like if this is what I wanted to do. So I thought that this would be um, so a resource for other uh, student teachers who want to come here. So basically, on the school side of things, um, here in at ISS, we go under the um, IB umbrella, so Annalise and I are in grades four and five. I'm in five, she's in four. And uh, so we use the PYP curriculum or primary years program um, to do our teaching. So that has been a huge switch from what we do in the states usually. So all the states publicly use um, Common Core and then we use different kinds of curriculum district to district to actually teach our lessons under the Common Core. So here, um, IB is, feels more to me like standards and then we don't really have like curriculum. So instead of having like lessons that say this is what you'd teach in, in this order, we have just our like standards and then some like practices to use as we do our lessons. So you could view that as really liberating because you get to do your own thing or you can view that as really stressful because you have to plan everything yourself. Um, it depends on what way you look at it. Um, I'm with a really experienced teacher who has already like, created her like rhythm of doing things throughout the year, so it hasn't been super stressful, but I know that it could be, especially if I was on my own. Um, so another thing about school here is because it's a private school, it's a lot smaller. Um, our class sizes are minus 17 students right now, Annalise is, is 18-ish, I think, um, and usual American schools have about 30 kids per classroom. So that's really nice to be able to individualize what we're teaching um, to our specific students. A majority of my students are Australian. Um, people who send their kids to school at ISS usually are diplomats or embassy workers or they work for the UN. Um, so I've gotten to know quite a few of my kids with parents like that. Um, there's a couple, there's maybe three American students and then some um, native Fijian students, but not very many. Um, so that's the school side of things. It was really fun to be there today um, and just kind of get in the swing of actually teaching. On the Fiji life side of things, um, the more time we spend in Suva, the more you realize that you need to leave Suva to kind of do anything. Um, Suva is not a beach town. It's nothing like what you'd think of when you 
think of Fiji when you're like beaches, palm trees, postcard style. Uh, the closest beach to Suva is about 45 minutes away. Here in town, it's road, seawall, water. So there's no land, like in between, it's just, um, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's still pretty, but um, it's a big city, so it's kind of dirty, um, kind of crowded. But once we get out, I'm sure we'll get to see those things that we've been hoping for. Uh, we just went through a hurricane here, um, Cyclone Tino. Uh, it was a category one moving into two when it passed uh, Vidi Levu, which is the island that we're on. It wasn't bad. Um, there was some really, really heavy rain and some strong winds, but it didn't last very long. Um, in the days following it, we did have a uh, water outage and power outage, but I don't know that they were like in correlation with the um, with the hurricane or tropical cyclone, um, it was more just a Fiji thing. Like sometimes things go wrong with the water and it, you just lose it with no warning. And sometimes they need to fix something with the power and it goes out for a full day. Uh, that's something to be prepared for when you come here. Luckily we were at school for the power outage and then the water outage only lasted a few hours this time. So. That was something. Um, we are planning to go to Nandi, which is on the other side of the island, the drier um, side, and spend some time at the beach, hopefully snorkeling. We'll see how it goes. We tried to book a hotel and we did it in the wrong location the first time, we lost some money. Um, so it's been kind of stressful. If you want to get out and do things here and really experience like Fiji, then you're gonna have to spend money, which has been hard. Uh, because we don't get paid to teach. So um, that is our plan. Um, getting around here has been kind of difficult. We can't drive because um, it's the opposite side of the road. We don't have really any experience with that. Um, taxis are fairly expensive, like I mentioned in the last video, and then buses are relatively dangerous. So um, some people use the buses and they say it's fine. The US Embassy actually bans um, their workers and children from using the buses here, so I feel like I'm going to follow the uh, suggestion of our embassy. Um, even though locals say riding the bus is fine, they say riding the bus at, fine. at night is not fine, so um, I have a bus card, but I don't want to really use it. Um, some positives is that after the hurricane, the weather got really, really nice, so it's been sunny, no rain, blue skies the last two or three days. Um, it's been way less humid than it was before, so it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, that's my update from Fiji.